video, I'm going to be showing you how I typically get ready on an average day. A lot of you have requested videos with my face showing because I tend to make videos where I'm outside of the frame, so I thought this would be the perfect video to accommodate some of those requests. Um, typically, I like to keep it really simple for my hair and for my makeup, so I'm just going to be showing you my very, very basic routine, and hopefully you will find this relaxing. I honestly have always enjoyed watching other people have their makeup done, and those are some of my favorite ASMR videos, so I'm really excited to be making this video for you guys today. Today, I am just headed to a friend's house after this video, so I just want a really basic, casual look, and I tend to wear as little makeup as possible because I honestly find it uncomfortable, and I just like to keep my skin looking as natural as I can. I think those are the most attractive looks anyways, but that's obviously my own personal opinion. So before I begin this look, I have just rinsed my face with cold water, which is what I do every morning when I wake up. It's very refreshing, it's hydrating, and I just find that it wakes my skin up, and I don't use a cleanser in the morning for the most part, just water. Because I went out last night and had a couple of drinks, which is kind of unusual for me, I am going to be applying a tea tree oil toner. This is something that I use in a lot of my videos, and I also have the recipe in one of my ASMR videos, so I'll leave that below if you're interested. using this with bristle brush today because my hair has been a bit staticky and this really helps remove those staticky kind of flyaways. One more 
first step I like to do before I apply any makeup is remove any stray hairs from my eyebrows. So I used to get my eyebrows threaded, but now I just love to let them grow and I don't get any professional maintenance on them. I just like to intermittently pluck any eyebrow hairs that might be, um, you know, growing above or below my natural arch. sound that tweezers make. It's super relaxing, I find. As you can see, I only removed a couple of hairs and I really just like my brows to look very natural and not super groomed. You can also trim your eyebrows if you need to, which I will do occasionally, just using this little what this is called, like a spoolie, and I'll just brush my eyebrows upwards. So if I need to, I will just go and lightly trim So those are looking pretty nice to me. So now I always, before I apply any makeup, will apply a sunscreen. And this is my absolute favorite facial sunscreen right now because it's a tinted moisturizer with SPF. And it's nice because I don't need to use a foundation when I'm using this. It's by Raw Elements, my favorite natural sunscreen brand. it in general. 
just um, kind of move it along with the brush, but I never pick up extra product, just a very, very small amount. The next thing I'm going to add a slight cheek tint using this Glossier Cloud Paint, which I really like. So all you need to do is apply a very small amount to your finger. And then I kind of tap it between two of my fingers, and then I will lightly apply it on my cheekbone. think that little pop of color on the eyelid is a really nice natural kind of accent and it, typically I don't really think that it looks like I'm wearing much makeup, which I really like. So Hopefully that's even. It's a little bit hard to see in, in the camera and I'm not using a mirror. But I think it looks pretty good. And next I'm going to be using two different highlighters. more 
My next videos will be me doing your makeup because I also enjoy those.
many store-bought brands, but this was gifted to me by a friend and I have been enjoying it, so this is a good option if you're looking into natural deodorants that are store-bought. soon. So stay tuned. I will see you guys very soon and I will